Okay. Well, Roy, look, I got another question, man, because I'm still taking uh, my questions from a novice person that mm-hmm. don't really know too much about what's going on. But I did hear a lot of traditional stock market terminologies you were using, bull market, bear market, right? So we got a simple but complex question. What determines if the value of a crypto goes up or down? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good question. So, um, yeah, that's, it's, you might it's not a have pretty, an answer to that. <laughs> it, it will be a long, a long winded answer. But the, okay. the short answer: um, what determines a lot of a lot of what determines price? It can be a few things. It could be the the market cap, um, which is the, the the total liquid money. This particular uh, crypto company or organization they're holding um that can be one factor also like stocks uh you have a, a certain supply right a lot of it comes down to supply and demand of course so you have a, a certain supply of coins in particular right let's use let's use bitcoin again because bitcoin has a bitcoin is a, has a finite uh number of coins um in existence you know and once those coins are all accumulated and mined um which i'll talk more about later uh once that happens uh there's no more bitcoin that's going to be created right okay. so you have the you have minimal supply and you have a bigger demand uh which increases it makes makes things more valuable right um gold Think, think of, you know, gold is, is, you know, scattered all around the earth, but we have to mine for it, right? It, to make it, and, and if you mine it and you, you dig it up and you find it, your net worth is going to go. It's going to be worth something, right? So there, there's, you know, there's the mining aspect of it. And then there's just a circul- circulating supply of gold, right? That's, that's, that's floating around, right? Um, so the, the, to answer your question, what determines the value, it could be, the circulating supply versus the total supply. How much of the circulating supply, I'm sorry, how much of the total supply is circulating, right? Is it okay. is it uh, 80% circulating and, and the company is only holding 20% of the coins or is it is it is it 50-50? So um, when I'm researching certain coins and, and uh, projects, one of the things I look for is is that, is the circulating supply I mean, what is the total supply and how many of these coins are actually circulating and are available to the masses? Okay. okay. Um, and depending on what, whatever particular project or whatever you're looking at, whatever crypto you're looking at, um, most of them have a roadmap of, of things that are, they're going to do and how they're going to uh, keep the community going and how, what problems are they going to be solving? Right. What real world problems can this potential crypto project solve? You know, that's one thing. Okay. So it, there, there's there's a lot of factors that can determine the price of it. Uh, but the simple answer is, I would tell people to look look for minimal supply, it's minimal circulating supply. Um, I'm sorry, minimal um, circulating supply that you can grab a hold of, and you know, I would say put a lot of that aside, save it um hold on to that uh there are projects that that i invested in that you know i i found when they were a quarter of a cent right and if i spent simply uh, you know, five hundred dollars you know uh, that's i can get a lot of coins if at a quarter of a cent for 500 bucks well guess what if that particular project if they start creating partnerships uh which a lot of these crypto projects are doing if they start creating partnerships with with banks and 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 uh companies that we know like visa and mastercard they're all you know getting into crypto so when these big partnerships and stuff like this happens you can see the price move then also you know based on right. news so i compare it a lot to stocks because usually if, if you're watching if you know anything about the stock market and you're watching you know sometimes good news can skyrocket the price bad news can you know, you can see the price go the opposite way. So you, right. you, any project you're investing in, you really want to pay attention to what they're trying to solve. That's what the, the engineering thing comes in, right? They're solving. Right. What are they? What are they? What are they trying to solve? Uh, uh, and how are they trying to do it? Are they having any success in doing it? Right. The roadmap that they, the roadmap that they put out, are they following that roadmap? 
you know, so you, you, you want to be careful with what you invest in. You definitely want to do your research and I'll be able to provide a lot of the, you know, students or anybody has any questions with, with those tools that they can use to put in their toolbox to, to be able to research. Cause you know, a lot of times you hear people say, Hey, do your research. It's not financial advice, but do your own research. What if somebody doesn't know how to do, what if somebody doesn't know how to do that research, right? How, where do they start? So um, okay. that's what, that's what I want, I, you know, I want to bring to the NEL and, and I want to bring to, you know, anybody that'll listen, you know, has any questions, you know, to be honest, um, give them those tools that I've, I've learned to use over the years right. to show them how to correctly research and, and not get burned, you know, by a okay. lot of these other projects out here. 